39 inch Mama Loon. Robert here with Coastal GX, embarking on another adventure at South Padre Island. Uh, we're always doing the get up, get out, do something thing, right? So today I want to focus up on some fishing. I want to cast out into the East Cut Channel. I haven't done that in a while, so I'm looking forward to doing that. It's going to be a long, long day. Uh, I won't stay overnight, but I do plan. I do have plans to stay there for a long, long time today. Uh, I am. Uh, Hopefully, I'll be joined by my friend uh, Ray. And uh, but anyway, we'll see you out there. Let's try our luck at fishing today, okay? Thank you. Got here, haven't had a chance to do a lot of uh, filming, but let me tell you, as soon as I got here, I saw some activity in there, grabbed the cast net and launched it. Got a nice little ladyfish. So I'm gonna use that as cut bait. I didn't have time to get any bait today so i only brought fish bites and my casting net and <laughs> see what happens there and of course some some lures what's up ray i was trying to uh get a hold of you how'd it go man yeah, yeah. you actually beat me this time <laughs> <laughs> there's always a first there's always a first bro yeah, uh, well, I, I think I'm gonna have to go see a chiropractor, man. Coming in this, in this so many, it was it was a lot of articulation, right? Yeah. Well, what do you think of this spot? You can see those people have been out there for a while. The ones that they got their spot with. Oh yeah, like yeah. But hey, this where I came to, was uh, no one time. This where he caught the, the shark. And, yeah. Oh no, there's there's wildlife all over the place. I just caught. I just cast my net and I caught a um, no, I caught a, a, a ladyfish. Oh, okay. So you know, look at that. Oh, yeah. They're they're there, bro. Just uh, yeah. So I didn't get any live bait. Yeah, so right. I, I figured, you know, maybe I'll. I'm gonna solely uh, depend on the lures. I'm gonna just use lures today. Oh, okay. See how that goes for me. Good deal. Good deal. Well, I'm gonna try, I, I, I brought a light tackle for lures and I brought the two surf rods. Oh. <laughs> Ray, you, that's, that's my, old, uh, my old canopy. The one that was, uh, that broke. You may recognize it, don't you? You, uh, you restored it. I did. Good job, Ray. <laughs> okay, you use it today. 
And, and let it be noted that when it broke on me, I did not leave it out at the beach. I took I took it home and I even asked you. I'm like, hey man, what do you think? Uh, I could do it. It just took a while to find some parts for it. Yeah. It is a bigger size than normal. But this is a good idea, guys. If if you're if you're handy like Ray here, um, and this is something that uh, that you feel comfortable doing, if you can refurbish, you know the a canopy, do it instead of buying a new one. I just cast out uh, this other one. I'm trying some fish bites on this one. Oh, getting some getting some hits here. The only thing I've ever had luck with. Oh, there you go. No. The only thing I've ever had luck with fish bites is. Uh, whiting and catfish but mostly whiting but I wouldn't mind that either but the smaller whiting we can always use it as cut bait you know so a little double <laughs> hey Ray so I see that you're using these artificial lures. Last time you had some luck with uh, speckled trout out here. Yeah, I did. Uh, I was using this one from So Strong. Yeah. Slam series. And uh, I have a couple other ones I bought at the local big shop. I'm trying them out. Uh, it's a lot cleaner. I have this little jig head here. I don't know the specs on this size. I know it's the smallest one I have. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm just trying them out. Something different. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot easier to switch out than cut bait. Yeah. It's not cleaner. So. I'm gonna try something different, something new. I don't usually use this type of uh, technique for yeah. fishing in a surf because I don't think I'm tool on the surf. So, something new, something different, yeah. uh, trial and error. Ray, what'd you get, man? A little red. A little red. A little red. <laughs> That is awesome! Yeah. This stuff does work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Small little red. That's hilarious. Oh, oh nice. man. That is fun. That's yeah. a lot of fun. Well, just back in the water. Yeah. Well, I thought I had myself a crab here, but as you can see, it's got a bunch of eggs there. So, we can't keep those. Gotta send it back. These are the females coming in to lay their eggs and I thought I was gonna have myself a little treat for lunch but no come on girl go back out there Woo! lay your eggs Okay guys, yeah, so the fishing's been a little slow. We've had a couple of bites here and there, nothing special, but still we've had a little fun. Now we're getting a little hungry, so what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to cook up some lunch. Normally I bring my propane uh, two burner stove, my little Coleman, you know, it's cheap, it's easy, it's portable, you know, but there is something different. There's something special about cooking your uh, meat, barbecuing, you know, the traditional way with charcoal or wood. In this particular case, I think I'm, I'm gonna give it a try with this Pampered Chef uh, little barbecue pit that I have right here. My wife gave it to me uh, as a gift and uh, I haven't been able to use it because like I said, I've always used the little stove, but I told her it would have to be something very portable. It would have to be something very uh, easy for me to carry and use. So I'm gonna give it a try let me tell you, let me show you real quick. So it's really small. This thing is really, really tiny. It's just enough space. As you can see, I've already tested it out at home. So, but in here, what you can do is you can carry, you know, all the lighter aids or whatever. 
You could even put a little charcoal if you wanted to down in here. You know, right here, this is a little chimney. You're gonna love this one, man. I don't know if you guys know about this one. I'll leave a link in the description, but I can't wait to show you this little chimney here. But basically, you can even carry the little, uh, little tongs right here. But as you can see, this thing, so easy to put together. Basically, you just uh, put your, lay this tray first, and then you're gonna put your coals in here. And then uh, you, this is where you're gonna light it up. And then of course, you just put the grill on top of it. And uh, you should be able to uh, take care of business right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the couple of T-bones ready, and I'm gonna get the fire going over here. Okay, guys, so this is a little chimney that I'm telling you about. I've only used it once, but man, was I impressed with it. So I have a big chimney that I use to light up my charcoal when I'm at home. But check this out. See if this, put this little thing right here. It's so compact. Basically this little grill right here, it comes up and it just folds like this. And this thing right here, it twists like that and you just fit it into this little bag. Man, if you guys are like having problems trying to light up your charcoal out here and it's just a big pain in the butt, this is guaranteed to make life easier, especially when you got better things to do like get back to fishing like I should be doing. But anyway, let's open this thing up. There you go. Now we're gonna put some charcoal in it. This is all about saving space. It's all about saving space, so, especially out here. You know, if it's just gonna be you, you're just cooking for yourself, or maybe you and your, and your loved one, your friend. You can just imagine, I mean, you could put, I guess you could put these charcoal briquettes right in here and they just put everything in there and you wouldn't even have to bring a bag of charcoal if you didn't want to. You know, just kind of fill it up to where you know you're gonna need it and bring this only with you and uh, that should work out. So, now I do a little cheating here. So, uh, like I said, bring a little of these uh, fire starter aids. I got a match here. That's easy. Put that in here. All right. Okay. That didn't do it. And that didn't do it. Well, nobody said I was a py pyromaniac, okay? You can never accuse me of that. Damn it. <laughs> oh my God. Ugh. Okay, finally, there we go. Yeah, I meant to do that. I was kindling right there. But anyway, this is gonna help out right here and uh, by, I'm kind of hoping that, that the charcoals are gonna burn kind of fast, so that'll give me more time to enjoy or prepare other things instead of being waiting for the fire to get going. Gotta pat these down. As dry as I can. At least some Uncle Chris. I brought this rag because it does get kind of hot. So, but no hassle. You get the right amount of coals. I'm not gonna put it on the table because it's gonna melt it. I'm just gonna leave it off here to the side. Whoops. So you just put the charcoal in that little container and you put a lighter fluid in it and that's how you lit. Yeah, I, actually I put like a little, a little, um, little fire 
a fire starter aid oh, okay. and uh it was like with minutes within minutes oh, no lighter fluid yeah and if you guys this is a pampered chef product if you guys are interested uh my wife does uh sell this stuff this was a gift for my wife so yeah So what I'm doing here is I went ahead and I moved the coals away from the meat. Now that I seared it, I kind of put it over here on this other side. I'm going to cover it up. I'm going to cover it and I'm going to shut the vents a little bit more. Shut it on this side. And since I didn't bring a thermometer, we're going to have to just test it out by feel. And see how this little thing does. I mean, that it's going to it's going to cook the meat, it's going to cook the meat. You know, it's uh but at what quality or how is it going to turn out? That's going to be the mystery. Okay. Well, there goes nothing, man. Huh. I'm gonna let them rest out here. I don't want them to be overdone. I just don't want them to be overdone, man. So let's see how what happens. I are we kind of thin? There's no way, there's no temperature, there's no way to gauge it. At least that's the way I do it. So we'll test them out. While we're letting them rest, we're going to go ahead and put a couple of these monster pizza to <laughs> We're going to make pizza? Jeez. These are huge, man. Yeah. <laughs> these are... Bro. These are bigger than the Frisbee, man. This is crazy. Look at that. So I guess you can only heat one up at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Guy. There you go. <laughs> you want one tortilla? <laughs> Put it over here. Wow. All right. Well, let's see. Let's see how this turned out. A little concerned here. Huh. Well, it's more like a medium instead of a medium rare. Yeah. Are you want to try this? Hey man, not too bad. That's good enough. Just like that? Poplo boots. Not breakfast and lunch. Guys, it is hot out here. Here with my buddy Ray, he's been hitting it hard. I mean, we've been working hard out here. Yeah, normally, the, right now, the wind has just started to kind of pick up, but it has been kind of dead around, I, I wanna say that maybe the, the wind was hovering at around 10 miles an hour throughout the day, uh, maybe even less. We'll take a look at the full screen there and I'll show you you know, what the weather was saying uh, for the day. But anyway, I wanted, last time around that, that Ray and I were out here, we, we encountered some very hot temperatures 
Of course, it shouldn't be a surprise. It is the beach, it is South Texas, but still it was a little more than what we were used to. So I wanted to bring a couple of things. Unfortunately, my Arctic Cove, uh, my Arctic Cove fan over here, that you see right there, uh, no, that is not the power of the fan. That's just the breeze that's kicking in right now. But anyway, I brought a bucket in order. This thing, I mean, I, I use it at home. I use it uh, in my garage when I'm working on stuff or whatever. If I just want to cool down, I just simply put it on top of a five gallon bucket. I drop the little, the little pump right there and it cools me down. So let me turn it on here so I can show you what I'm talking about. Just turn it on there and then I hit the pump and the pump then brings in the water through here and uh, kicks it out through these little nozzles. Unfortunately, it stopped working right now. It always happens that way, doesn't it? And uh, this thing is powered, you know, by, uh, uh, I think it's a 24 watt, 18 volt uh, lithium ion battery that they have back here. So you can recharge the battery and you can bring it over here. So if you're trying to cool down, this little fan might be able to help you out. Um, unfortunately, like I said, the little nozzles are not working right now. Anyway, so that's that. Let me turn this thing off. Now, let me tell you about the big boy, all right? So this is the icy breeze. Let me show you the icy breeze right here. This uh, looks, like a, looks like a regular cooler, okay? But this is the Icy Breeze model. And of course I had to, you know, choose the colors to match Sandy over there. But uh, this thing right here is pretty nifty, man. So you, it fits up to three 10 pound uh, uh, bags of ice in there. And you see that little thingy right here, that device. So there's water, there's like a level of water where you fill it in, fill it up uh, right at the bottom. And uh, it's that ice water right there. You keep it closed in order to maintain, maintain the cold uh, 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 air in there. And then there's two ways of powering it up. You can order it with, again, the rechargeable battery, which is right here, okay? Or, well, and you can also get the power adapter. So if you have some sort of power source, just your conventional wall socket or even in the car, you know, you can get it with that as well. You can get the 12 volt outlet, boom, plug it in and you got some instant air conditioning. I tried it at home. I've tried it, you know, and, and uh, it's, it's been great. Uh, it does cool down big time, but I wanted to see if you could really tell the difference out here at the, at the beach, especially at the East Cut, okay? So unfortunately, we're not at the, at the worst part, okay? Just, I turned it on right here in high speed. Let me see. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, brother. Okay, Ray. Puff, puff, give. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's I, I want to say it's as cold as uh as uh i guess your car AC? yeah your car's ac so what is this thing going? uh this thing it can uh you can remove it from here here hold this right here and show it right here you can remove it right here and then you can put this right here and then you can just use it as a as an AC vent if you wanted to put it in your tent or whatever. But man, it, it's really, really good. Um, I prefer to have this thing right here, to be honest with you, because with this thing, you can pretty much put it wherever you want as far as you can, right there. But anyway, this is the icy breeze, and no peeking.
We continued to try our luck at fishing, but all we were catching were whiting and ladyfish. Right as we were getting ready to tear down camp, our neighbors hit it big. 39 inch Mama Loon. Check him out. He's even got some funky spots in the back. These gentlemen right here have been grinding all day long. We've been just a few feet down. Juan and his crew are Coastal GX subscribers from Brownsville. They, just like us, had been struggling to land a bull red all day long. Once again, the East Cut delivered. Buena suerte! There's a deer over there. I can see a deer. Looks more like a doe. Oh, doe running around. There's another doe over there. Wow. That's pretty cool. Check it out. I don't know if you can see her. She's right there. Oh, there's a doe. Hey, Mama. Hey there. Hey, uh, I'm over here. I'm uh, in the back of the East Cut leaving. Okay. Hey, guys. As I leave the East Cut, uh, I want to say thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for all the support that you've been giving the channel. I really appreciate it. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to bring you some more content soon um there's a lot of family stuff that i have to take care of but anyway uh thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one all right